this swing thought is really helpful. Which one am I? Am I too flat? Then I really got to exaggerate and get my club more in front of me. Or am I too steep? I've got to exaggerate in the other direction. Let's talk about fat and thin shots. Through this video, I hope to help you really understand why you are hitting the ball fat or thin. Now we all know that if we stay back too much, the weight's on the right side, if we lower the, the right shoulder too much, the club's going to bottom out too early and we're going to hit the ball fat. Or we might decide to compensate, pull the, the hands up and we'll top the ball. But you know about that. I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about your swing plane during the downswing. What happens when I swing too much from the inside, okay, too flat? And what happens if I swing too steeply from the outside? So what you can do is just take your stance and really exaggerate the backswing. Swing as flat back as you can and uh, try and keep the club on the same plane on the way down. So what you'll notice is that you'll hit the ground too early. That just has to happen. If I want to avoid this, I've got to compensate. And then take, pick the club up and swing steeply down and to the left. And this time you'll notice that you hit the ground far too far to the left. So the secret is, is to find the middle plane. But before you do that, you need to know if you're on the flat or on the steep side of things. So all you do is you film yourself, draw a line as I have done here, and have a look at your dancing. Where are your hands? Where's your club head? And if your club head, for example, is behind the swing plane on the way down, your chances are very, very good that you're going to hit the ground first. So there you have it. Now you know why you're hitting the ball fat or thin. But what can you do? I think you should start from the beginning. So what I mean there is take your stance and now try and get your body into the impact position. Okay, so turn your lower body, keep your shoulders straight or only slightly open and try and feel that position. Okay, this is what we want to look like in impact. And from here, take the club back until the shaft is directly over the line of your feet. Let's do it from this, this perspective. Okay, so practice that. That's the ideal impact position. Now take the club back until the club's right above your, the line of your feet. And from here, try to get back into the ideal impact position. So if you can get your club in this position on the way down, it's, it's a really neutral position. Instead of there or there, you'll get a feeling for the correct plane. And this is essential to get into this position. I really like practicing the impact position because you'll notice that from this position, it doesn't help having the club there. Hit a few balls with that feeling. I think that especially this swing thought is really helpful. Which one am I? Am I too flat? Then I really got to exaggerate and get my club more in front of me. Or am I too steep? I've got to exaggerate in the other direction. Thanks so much for watching right until the end. Um, please subscribe to Golf Beginner World. See you soon.